Hi guys, Sal Ferrara from the Electrical Training Center. And today we're going to calculate a store, commercial, co commercial establishment, okay? So step number one, step number one, set up problem. And in this problem, we have a store 2,300 square feet, okay? We also have 70 receptacles in this store. We also have 15 linear feet of show windows. And we have a nameplate of, of a nameplate of a three-phase AC unit of 24 amps. Okay? So that's what's oh we also, I'm sorry, we also have a water heater. A water heater. 120 volts at 1500 watts. Okay, so that's given on this uh, on on uh, for this calculation. A very simple calculation, and we're going to go over it step by step. Step two, and I'm going to go over here. Step two, we're going to calculate, and I'll give you. I'm going to give you all the code sections also so you know exactly where you can find everything. Sorry about that. Somebody tried to call me. Just got to shut my phone off for a second. Resume. <laughs> so here we have, we're going to calculate, we have 2,300 square feet, and we go to 220.12, and what this talks about is um, your square footage and how many volt amps you're allowed. In this one, it's three volt amps, which is going to equal 6,900 volt amps. But the problem is, that's for the lighting. This is for lighting, okay, and this is for your lighting. Lighting lower. The problem is in, in, in this is that the lights are going to be on for more than three hours. Okay, think about it. The store opens up at six o'clock in the morning and it closes at seven o'clock at night. So the, it's called continuous load. Okay, so it's going to be on for more than three hours. And basically, if we look this up, we could go to a um, there's two places. One place is 210.1981 and 215. This is brand circuits and these are feeders. 215.2, um, I think it's 2B or 2A1. Okay, these are the two places. So we're going to take the 6900 volt amps. And again, these lights are going to be on more than three hours, so you've got to add continuous load. Because the brake is, is, is actually getting hot, the overcurrent protection, the wire is getting hot because it's on more than three hours. So the opacity, you have to increase the overcurrent protection for this. So here you get times it by 1.25, which equals 82, I'm sorry, 8625 volt amps. So over here we're going to put lighting. It's going to abbreviate lighting, which equals 8625 volt amps. The next step, step three, we're going to do the receptacles. Okay, in the receptacles we have 70 and receptacles at 180 volt amps. Now you say, Sal, where the hell did I get the 180 volt amps? Well, we're going to go to 220. Dot 14i, and this is where everybody gets confused. When you do residential, just FYI, you don't use the 180 volt amps. 
Okay, you actually use the lighting loads. Uh, you do it uh, based on, a, what is it, 210.11C1, C2, C3. There's a whole thing that you actually do the calculation and, two, and also 220.12 says that the lighting outlets, uh, no, I think it's 220.12J talks about that you, uh, for receptacles you use the lighting um, uh, calculation and that's how you figure it out okay but for regular dwellings you don't do 180 volt amps it's only basically for commercial okay so um, the 70 receptacles times 180 volt amps is going to equal 12,600 volt amps now we go to because there's a table 220.44 for the receptacles and it says this if it's over a thousand VA, you got to do something. There's a demand, okay? And what it says is the first ten thousand is at a hundred percent. So we're going to take the first ten thousand at a hundred percent, which equals ten thousand. Then anything above ten thousand, you do at fifty percent. So here we took the twelve thousand. 600, we minus 10,000, because that's at 100%, which equals 2,600 volt amps. And this we do at 50%. And again, that's based on 220.44, the table. So we times this by 0.5, and that comes out to 1,300 volt amps. So the answer here, we had 1,300 Volt amps is 11,300 volt amps, okay? So this is the for the receptacles, 11,300 volt amps. So for receptacles, 11,300 volt amps, right? Step four, that was step, step four, step, step, well, this is part of step four right here. Well, this, this is going to be step number four. Okay, how, you, how we come across that. Step five is going to be the show windows. And for the showroom windows, we're going to go to 220.43. And what it says here, for every one linear feet, linear foot, she equal 200 volt amps, volt amps. So, if I had 10, if I had 10 linear feet, we take 10 times 200, which would be 2,000. But here we got 15 linear feet. So we're gonna take 15 times 200, which equals 3,000 volt amps. Very simple, very, very, very simple, but, we do have a problem. Are these show windows going to be on more than three hours? They might have a timer, and it goes on at, I don't know, six, seven o'clock, and it goes off maybe two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock, whatever. It's a store. It's commercial. Usually, show windows are always um, more than three hours. So we're going to take this number, and this is um, we're going to take this number, and we're going to times it by 1.25, which is three. Seven five zero volt amps. So to show, I'm going to put S show windows, which equals three seven five zero oh volt amps. Okay, so that's your show windows. Then we have a water heater. We're gonna we're gonna skip the AC right now. We're just gonna do the water heater WH water heater, which is fifteen hundred volt amps. And now the last one is your air conditioner. We have the 24 amps, and we want to find out for power. So P equals E times I times 1.73, because it's 1.732, you can put a two here if you want, is, um, is uh, three phase. So we're going to look for I. Uh, um, we want to find power. So P equals 24 times 360. Where do I get 360? It's a constant. If you take 208 times 1.732, really 1.73, it's 360. It's a circle. 
Okay, that's what three phase is. It's a big circle, 180, 90, it's all out of phase and everything, just for simplicity. So if you multiply that, you come out with 800, 646 volt amps. So we're gonna put down the AC, 8,646 volt amps. We add it all up and we come out with 3382 and we divide by 360 again because it's three phase okay the, the whole store is 120 208y okay three phase and when we do this p over e times 1.73 and we come out with 94 amps. I think it's actually 93.9 amps and we round up and you come out I equals 94 amps. So that's your answer for this store calculation. There's a lot also if you go in the back of the code book the examples in the back of the code book um, there'll be um, store calculations also. Okay and again uh, Click below to subscribe if, if you like these videos. Have a great day.